Hey everyone and welcome to another Couches RV Nation video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 Salem Villa Estate. This is a destination trailer, the 395 RETS. So we're going to take a few minutes and walk you around the inside and the outside of this new Salem Villa Estate. All right, guys, we're now up inside the Salem Villa Estate 395 RETS. And as you've seen on the floor plan there, this is a four slide out, one bedroom destination trailer, rear entertainment section. So we're looking toward the back of the coach right now. And you can see opposing slides back here with a sofa in each slide there. That opens up into a dual bed system. So you could sleep four people back here pretty comfortably in the living room area. And that's pretty cool because if you don't want a bunkhouse trailer, you can still get a uh, family in here pretty comfortably to sleep back here. You can sleep six people and seat six people in this coach comfortably for dinner. Electric fireplace back here does have a little uh, built-in heater in it. Sound bar, a little blue LED accent lighting there. Plenty of uh, TV space back here for nice big flat screen TV. And some good cabinet space back here as well. The sofas are also completely freestanding back here. So if you wanted to remove a sofa and put like a desk or some sort of little workstation there, uh, you can do that. I've had a few people do that with this model. Nice big deep tent safety glass windows on the coach. They have the pull down roller shades on there. But I love the fact that all these windows open back here. So you get a nice cross breeze coming through the coach on a good day. theater seat facing your TV area so you can kick back and relax you do have a little cup holder there and a little storage area in the middle it's got a large 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator there ceiling fan in the living room area here and you're also going to see one in the bedroom area when we get into there quite a bit of cabinet space in the uh, kitchen area here as well drawer space cabinet space and it has the new Furion oven which is a larger 25 inch oven with the three burner gas cooktop and it has a little digital temperature control on it also has the larger microwave up there um, built-in little fan and light as well you have a skylight directly above your kitchen sink area right there. Big sliding glass door going out over your campsite area. And again, plenty of dining room space here. This is great. You can actually sit six people here comfortably. You have three traditional freestanding chairs and then a bench over on the other side. And a nice thing on this, if you don't necessarily need all the chairs you could take it out give yourself a little more room there instead of a traditional booth where you can't remove one section of it quite a bit of linoleum throughout the coach some of your controls up here for your um, modern panel and slide out buttons some lighting water pump things like that High-rise uh, faucet there does have the undermount stainless sink with the little divider in the middle there. But overall, really beautiful destination trailer. They even do little accent LED lights above the tops of the slides there. Some storage underneath the uh, dinette booth portion there. Don't forget, guys, to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Central vacuum system and uh, smoke detectors, or I'm sorry, propane leak detector down below there. Control for the air conditioning system. Over into the bathroom area here. You have a foot flush toilet there, 
pretty good size bathroom sink and counter space area here. You got a couple drawers there. Lots of ceiling height even here in your bathroom area. A little skylight up above. Some storage over here. And you've got the three-piece sliding glass shower door. Has a little sit-down seat and stuff in there. Now we're going to head over here into the bedroom area. Quite a bit of room in here as well. Um, the unit has two air conditioners on it. Ceiling fan up top as well. Now this one was ordered with the queen size bed. But you could, if you really wanted to put a king in here, you could take out those little end tables on each side and gain a little more room there to do a king size bed if you wanted to. Plenty of room to maneuver around in the bedroom area to get dressed and everything. You have some dresser drawers over here, plenty of space there for counter space, or if you wanted to put a TV in here, there's TV hookups in here. Some overhead cabinet area. And you've got a pretty good sized closet going across the front here. And there's a hanging closet bar that goes across there and also some shelf space up here as well. Plenty of room on, again, both sides of the bed to maneuver around. You've got an electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed also. Windows on both sides of the bed do open. Got another entry door into the bedroom area. But overall, a really great layout for entertaining. Also, a good amount of sleeping space and eating space inside here. Great unit to take to a lakeside park somewhere and just kick back and relax for the summer. We're going to take a few minutes and head to the outside of the coach and show you around. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Salem Villa 395 Rets. And also uh, another little thing to kind of throw at you there. This is the same thing as a Wildwood version, Wildwood Lodge. Um, so if you do have a dealer near you that sells the Wildwood brand, go check it out. Same camper, built on the same assembly line kind of thing. But uh, they slap some different colors on it and give it to dealers closer together. Um, outside here, you're seeing the power awning feature has the LED light strip built in and also adjustable arms for water runoff tilting. And you have two entry doors again. Traditional RV steps on this as they expect most people are going to probably build a deck or something around it so they don't put the fold out uh, steps on them like they do traditional travel trailers. And up here in the front section you have two 30 pound propane tanks traditional crank up jack there's room for one or two batteries to go back in behind there um, i like the little lights that they put up here kind of gives it a little homey feel a little uh overhang kind of coming off the front section there now uh, this one was also ordered with the detachable front hitch so this front tongue can actually come off of the coach we have some people that have restrictions on their campsites and stuff they can only go so long so that hitch can be detachable. You can block the camper, tie it down kind of thing. But that will save you a few feet of length there uh, if you do run into that restriction type of thing at your campsite. You have two outdoor speakers here. They are lit up blue, but there's a switch to turn those off if you don't want them lit up. The folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the coach. Again, nice big windows, deep tent safety glass windows there. Do have pretty good sized tires, easy lube axles, you know, drum brakes, all that type of stuff. But really, truthfully, if you're taking it and parking it somewhere, that doesn't mean a whole lot after it's there. Going on around to the back of the coach.
Your power cord hooks up back here on the corner. You have cable and satellite inlets also back here on the corner. Gutter rails run down both sides of the coach with the three inch gutter extensions on them. You got three slide outs on this side of the camper. Stove vent exhaust up there. Down below here is your waste dump area. So your gray, galley, black, everything dumps out right here. You have different little pull handles. Furnace exhaust out over here. You have your city water and uh, fresh water tank fill ups right there. Storage area here goes underneath the bed. Some basic spec information on the coach. Um, this particular coach, again, 395 Rets, has two 6,000 pound axles, ST23580 or 16E range tires on the coach, uh, 80 PSI there. The gross vehicle weight, hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined, 13,468 pounds. Now, down below, you'll find an actual dry weight sticker, and it is 11,576 pounds empty. Also, you'll see a battery disconnect here, so you could disconnect the battery when you put it in storage. But overall, a pretty big camper here, destination trailer. I would definitely recommend something like this for a couple to take and park by the lakeside or down by the riverbed and just kind of get away. Nice little unit. Forgot about this little spot back here. This is basically the water heater area. You got your bypasses and things like that here for the water heater. But it's a 20-gallon electric water heater standard on the Salem Villa Estate. Again, guys, be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Definitely save you a lot of money. CouchesRVNation.com, 888-417-8299.